Semper Fi everyone, welcome to the latest installment of Recon Jack. I'm your host, United States Marine Corps veteran and living historian Chuck Lynch. On today's episode, I'll discuss the U.S. Marine Pith Helmet, which is a lightweight cloth-covered helmet. The Pith Helmet originates from the Spanish military adaptation of the native Salicot headgear of the Philippines. The Pith Helmet was often worn by European travelers and explorers in the varying climates found in Southeast Asia, Africa, and the tropics, but was also used in many other contexts. The helmet was routinely issued to European military personnel serving overseas in hot climates from the mid-19th to the mid-20th century. In the narrow definition, a pith helmet is technically a type of sun helmet made out of pith material. However, the pith helmet may more broadly refer to the particular style of a helmet. In this case, a pith helmet can be made out of cork, fibrous, or similar material. Whatever the material, the pith helmet is designed to shade the wearer's head and face from the sun. The origin of the pith helmet is a traditional Filipino headgear known as a salakot. They are usually dome-shaped or cone-shaped, and they can range in size from having very wide brims to being almost helmet-like. The tip of the crown commonly has a spiked or knob finial made of metal or wood, and it is held in place by an inner headband and a chin strap. These were originally made from various lightweight materials like woven bamboo, rattan, and bottle gourd, sometimes inlaid with precious metals, coated with waterproof resin, or covered in cloth. Salicot were used by native Filipino auxiliaries in the Spanish colonial military as protection against the sun and rain during campaigns. They were adopted fully by both native and Spanish troops in the Philippines by the early 18th century. The military versions were commonly cloth covered and gradually took on a new shape. Throughout the Second World War, the United States Marine Corps, U.S. Navy, and the U.S. Army developed a cheaper, similar looking alternative to the pith helmet called the American Fiber Helmet, which was made from pressed fiber. Some of the helmets were printed with a camouflage pattern, but the vast majority were made in a khaki color. The two main producers of the U.S. military fiber press pith helmet were the International Hat Company and the Hawley Products Company. Both companies had originally designed and manufactured several civilian models made from pressed fiber with a foil lining in the 1930s, aimed to be used by laborers who worked in the hot sun, from farms to road construction to other manual labor. The U.S. Marine Corps Pith Helmet, officially named Rigid Fiber Sun Helmet, has also seen use as a form of identification by rifle range cadres. In similar fashion, the campaign hat is worn by rifle range instructors and drill instructors. The U.S. Navy also authorized a plastic khaki sun helmet for wear by officers in tropical regions during the mid 20th century, and it was decorated with a full-size officer's hat crest on the front. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Recon Jack, and perhaps you've learned something new. Stay tuned for more episodes as I continue to explore the hallowed history, traditions, and individuals of the United States Marine Corps. Please feel free to like this video, subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell, and leave a comment in the section below. I always enjoy interacting with you folks and seeing the growth of this channel. Also, don't forget to tell a friend or family member or email me directly to recon underscore jack at hotmail.com. Until next time, and the next funny hat, Semper Fi, and carry on.